Eurotrash went to Brussels to meet 63-year-old Alfred David, an office cleaner with a very strange hobby. Is it a plane? Is it a bird? No, it's a grown man in a penguin costume. Alfred the Cleaner is actually the world's only penguin man, a biological miracle that happened over 20 years ago. I changed my name to Penguin Man on 4th of May 1968. I love it. I've lived 28 years as a penguin and I'm in the Guinness Book of Records for having the world's biggest collection of penguins. I even had to make a choice between penguins and my wife. After 30 years of marriage, I just left. I prefer my penguins. Dressing as a penguin may make your wife flipping mad, but there are many fringe benefits. Oh, oh sardines! Yummy! Not only does Alfred look like a penguin, he has the table manners of a penguin. And drinks like a fish. And Penguin Man loves chasing the birds, especially during the mating season. He wants the key to my home, but I don't want any rumpy pumpy with a penguin. He's always on the pool, always. But it's the mating season for penguins. Well, why don't you go and stay with them? Hello. Eurotrash have sent me to Amsterdam because not only is it Queen's Day, but I hear there's free trade. I think I'll investigate further. Eurotrash convinced Julie and Clary to travel by boat, even though there were no seamen in sight. See if I can mount this railing. A little bit early in the day for that sort of thing, but <sighs> where there's a will, there's a way. Lovely. Thank you. Wait there. Every cottage industry in town makes its tradesman's entrance into the proceedings, giving the two million visitors the hard sell. Crabs. Doesn't suit my skin tone. No. So it's fine for you. It's always a tricky bit getting your head through, isn't it? That's lovely. Oh, I feel distinctly Dutch now. Could do someone some damage with those, couldn't you? Oh, these are nice. They look nice on my window box. What's it called? It's called Skunk. Skunk. Is that the, the Latin name? Is that the no, it's not the Latin name. It's, uh, it's a nickname because it smells quite strongly. Like a skunk? Exactly. No, not like a skunk, but the skunk also smells quite strongly. Well, I know. I've heard. I found a friend. Finding a friend is what Queen's Day is all about. People come from all over the world in a celebration of gay culture. Jacques took us to the local greengrocers to find materials for his next masterpiece. I, I want some red food, really red. There you go, mate. Nice red pepper. All peppered up, Jacques returns to his studio to prepare for the painting. But Jacques has never been a fan of traditional methods. Rather than squeezing a paint tube, he squeezes his cheeks for his art. When things got really messy, Lily needed to call in the cleaners. Uh, hello. 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 We are the Romeo cleaners. You, you got no clothes on? No, it's our job. We are the first German nude cleaning agency. These cheeky chappies charge £30 for 90 minutes nude cleaning. The lovely perky pouches they wear are entirely optional and can be removed at no extra cost. Only men under 25 are employed and Romeo cleaners have a magnificent seven of them on their books. Every day, Mr Penguin goes to the zoo to indulge in a spot of spiritual communion with his fellow creatures. That's my greeting call. I can do others too. You should hear my mating call. I don't get many offers though. Maybe they think I'm a man dressed as a penguin. <laughs> if you're feeling sorry for Alfred, the only penguin trapped in a man's body, don't fret. He's looking forward to the day he can join his flippered friends. When I die, I want to be buried with my penguin suit on. Everybody listen to me. In any country, if you meet a penguin and call out, Alfred, and it comes waddling towards you, it'll be me. We'll be right back. 
Having trooped her colours through the streets, Nikki crowns the day with a royal gala performance that would make even Fergie blush. With all this excitement, poor Julian was feeling hot and bothered and said he was in need of a long, hard ride. So we stuck him on a Ferris wheel. I thought this might be a better vantage point to uh, spot some bona fide queens on Queen's Day, but um, now I'm here, I couldn't care less. I just want to get down again. I decided to become my own paint tube and paint with my crap. To make a painting with my own fecal matter, I have all the elements I need. You can see I have the crap pot with my crap in it, the scraper, as well as the spoon to handle the stuff. Now we can start. Jacques Lizane has been creating shit art since 1977. In order to achieve variations in colours, he varies his diet, eating spinach for a green tinge and peppers for a red one. All the paintings represent bricks in a wall. Selling for over £2,500 per square metre, Jacques customised bricks are not to be sniffed at. This is very self-sufficient art. As you can see, I eat, I crap, I collect my crap, I paint and sell it, so I can then buy more food. It's, it's total self-sufficiency. Ralph, do you know when you go on a cleaning job, do you ever get customers sort of making a pass at you and wanting sex and stuff? No, I don't have. A, I have a very long telephone call with the customers before, and, and so I tell them no sex. So Lily bids farewell to the men from Romeo and the contents of her purse. In Berlin, home entertainment can really take you to the cleaners. Yeah. Cheers, and don't catch a chill on your way home in the snow. See you soon. Good night. Thank you.